Welcome, welcome, welcome to Rapper Report Card, where we grade your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Today, we have none other than K Flock. Man, free K Flock, man. Free the brother, man. But um, ultimately, we are here to talk about the man's skills, man. You know, when this man left, when this man went to prison, he was on his way to being the king of New York. You know, there's been a void in the city ever since Pop Smoke untimely's death, man. You know, there's been a void in the city. And, you know, we thought Fabio was going to take over, but, you know, he's too old. He's a grandpa. You know, he's a senior citizen, and he ain't got the swag, and his songs ain't hitting like they used to. So, you know, we all heard this young man by the name of K Flock out of the Bronx. And we all thought that this man was gearing up to take over the city. And I am here to talk about the man's skills here on Rapper Report Cards. We talk about a bevy of things. We grade rappers on vocabulary, flows, versatility, originality, articulation, delivery, innovation, presence, songs, X Factor, and overall as a rapper. So now let's get into Mr. K Flock, the designer savage. Let's get into it though. Number one, let's get into vocabulary. Vocabulary. For vocabulary, I gave K Flock a six. I gave him a six. You know, does he use big words? Does he use, you know, is he like saying words that I'm so flabbergasted that I need to go to the nearest library and then get my library card dusted off and find out what words he's using? No. But he speaks in a dialect that I understand and that I can relate to and that most people can relate to that are living in his conditions. So for vocabulary, I gave him a six. For flows, I gave Mr. K Flock a seven. Are you dumb? No, I'm not dumb. I gave him a seven. Listen, K Flock has flow, man. When he's on a beat, that you know i feel like when he's on a beat he has great flows man he can flow on a beat he can flow pretty well man and i i I think that you know even when the beat is really not up to the top the par i feel like he flows pretty good on a beat i feel like his flow is you know overall exceptional you know did i give him you know, slightly a higher grade than I should have, maybe, because his flow is not, you know, extraordinary. But for, you know, this, I'm going to say I've never really heard a flow that he was, you know, I never heard a beat. I never heard a song where he was on a beat and his flow wasn't really good. I, I for the most part, I like the flows on the songs that I've heard. And the songs that I heard were Being Honest, Is You Ready, Dealership, Whisper, and PSA. So that's what I gave him for flows. Let's get into versatility. For versatility, I gave him a 7.5. And I gave him a 7.5 because in the beginning, I felt like, you know, K-Flock was ultimately falling into the role of the, 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 you know, the, the, the generic drill rapper dead mans dissing on dead dead ops you know but you know you know what song really got me being honest being honest made me realize you know there's more layers to this brother being honest was one of those songs that made me realize there's more layers to this brother like he's really talking about the struggle he's really talking about real things that are, people are going through in in his neighborhood in the neighborhoods that are like his and I feel like being honest is if if you're going if you're trying to put someone on to K Flock, I think being honest is one of the songs you should play for them because it shows more of a human side to him and it also shows 
the layers to this brother. I think there's more layers to this brother. He's more than just I'm um, smoking on your dead man's. And I feel like the potential is there for this brother to grow. If he ever, you know, if he ever sees the light of day, I hope so. I'm, I'm, I'll be praying for him. I hope that he can see the light of day. But I feel like being honest for me, at least for me, that was the song that really made me say, you know, there's more layers to this man. There's more layers to this brother. For originality, I gave him a four. You know, I, I feel like, you know, if, as far as being original, he's not really doing anything that's original. He's not doing anything that I haven't seen before. I've seen drill rappers. I've seen drill rappers his age. I've seen drill rappers articulate themselves better at times than him. So, you know, I don't feel like he's doing anything in terms of originality. So I gave him a four. For articulation, I gave him a 6.5. Huh? Ah! A 6.5. The reason I gave him a 6.5 is because pretty much the same reason why I gave him um, why I gave him a 7 on origin, uh, versatility. Excuse me. I feel like, you know, going back to being honest, I feel like being honest for me was a song that he really kind of articulated the struggles of living in that condition. He articulated what's it what's his what what it what it is in, in in a bronx hood what it is in a bronx ghetto what it is in a bronx projects just being a black male just being a latino male you know having ops you know people picking on you uh, different gangs different sets ultimately the, the the you know the 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 inner city you know just just you know destroying these young men and destroying their lives and I think that he articulated himself pretty well on that track. So I gave him a relatively high grade on um, articulation. So that's what I gave him. For delivery, I gave him a 7.5-er. Are you dumb? No. I think that his delivery is well. I like his delivery. I like the way he conveys his message. I like the way he conveys his message on a beat i like the energy that he gives on a track his energy is always right his energy is always there he doesn't slack a minute and i gotta say that his delivery i was impressed with his delivery i like his delivery in terms of his energy in terms of how he conveys his message i like his delivery so that's what i gave him for that Let's get into the next grade of innovation. For innovation, I gave him a three. You know, it it ultimately falls into like the originality thing. You know, I don't really feel like he's doing anything innovative. I don't think he's doing anything original. You know, as far as innovation, you know, I like some of the beats. I think some of the beats he chooses is innovative. I like that he chose that Squid Games beat. I thought that that was innovative. But, you know, other than that, I can't really say he's doing anything innovative, you know. So I gave him a, a three on innovative, on it being innovative. For presence, I gave K Flock a seven. Are you dumb? No, 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 no. I gave him a seven because I think that when he's on a beat, you can tell it's him. He has a signature voice that you can you can kind of you can kind of tell it's him you can, you can tell that it's him on the beat you can tell he's rapping on that beat so in terms of you know presence in terms of knowing that he's there in terms as you know identifying him on a track i've never seen him um on stage i should have looked at the footage of him on uh, rolling loud because actually i did see that you know i did see his i did see him <laughs> I'm bugging. I did see his. I didn't like his stage performance. I'm rolling loud. But in terms of presence, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay on my ranking. I'm gonna stay on my ranking in terms of presence. I'm gonna leave him a seven. So for presence, I gave him a seven. For songs, I gave K Flock an eight. I gave him an eight. I gave him an eight because ultimately, I like these songs. I like being honest. I like Is You Ready. I like Dealership. I like Whisper and I like PSA. You know, if I had to pick my favorite out of these songs, it would probably be Being Honest. It would probably be Is You Ready. I like Whisper. Um, Dealership is cool. 
so ultimately i like all of the songs all the song all of the songs were pretty cool i liked them they were entertaining i enjoyed them for x factor let's get into x factor for x factor i gave k flock an eight and the reason i gave k flock an eight is because this potential in this young man you know i hope that you know ultimately the case you know, goes in his favor. Do I think he's going to go away scot-free? No. Ultimately, it's sad because, you know, we have to deal with the reality. You know, when you're an inner city kid, as K-Flock is, the the chips in, are stacked against you. Let's be honest. You know, they put these young kids in these ravenous wolf communities. They grow up around gangs, guns, drugs, single parent homes. All they have is rap music and a bandana. I mean, honestly, what do you expect? Do you expect these kids to be honor roll students? Do you expect these kids to be astrophysicists? I mean, it's really, we have to take you know, responsibility at some point as a community and, and, and realize that, you know, we are hurting the babies, the, 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 the single mothers and the, the fathers that left the mothers and the, in the community, the OGs in the community, uh, not helping these young men, you know, stay out of the streets. Ultimately, you know, K flock is another cautionary tale of a young man. I mean, he's only 19 and he has so much potential for him to grow, to be a better artist, to be a better rapper. But I feel like he ultimately fell victim to the streets, you know, because, you know, there's only, there's only, there's only two exits out of the streets and that's jail and death. And, you know, you know, I'm, I'm happy that he's still here and I'm, you know, I'm happy that he, the man is still living and still able to put out music and still being able to, to uh, feed his family. But, you know, He's in jail now, and he's facing life, life in prison for as a 19-year-old, man. And it, it, it's sad. It's sad. But for X Factor, I gave him an 8 because I really feel he has potential to be a big artist, to be a bigger artist. You know, and I think that there is potential there for him to be even bigger than what he is now. But will we ever get to see that? Will we ever get to see him reach his potential? Or will he just be a caged bird? I mean, I want you guys to really think about that. So, overall, overall as a rapper, I gave K Flock an 8. I think, as I said, this man has potential. This young man has potential. And I think that if he can get out, if, you know, hopefully, you know, things fall in his favor. I hope so. I hope so. I think that this man has potential. I think that there's potential for him to be even a better artist. And, you know, the, the, the overall grade, you know, I would really say overall, if I'm grading him now, he's about maybe a 6.5 or 6.6. .6. But in terms of potential, I give him... A, I think the the potential that I see in him pushes him to an eight because I see more than just a, a, a hood rapper. You know, the song Being Honest really won me over and it really showed a layer to this kid and it really showed that, you know, he could be more than just, you know, uh, I'm smoking on your dead man's generic drill rapper. There's potential in this young man and hopefully... The, the 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 they won't throw the book at this young man and and hopefully he'll he'll be able to make music and ultimately live his dreams but that was the rapper report card on k flock overall an eight let me know what you guys think of that was that a too high of a grade was it too low of a grade what do you think of it? You know, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is the rapper report card. Thank you for joining me. Toodles.